Well, Johnson, everything we do, we, Johnson. We, I see that the neighbors are at it uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the neighbors on this side. It's Doris just the terrible. Other. These it's neighbors just... we have. I mean, it, can you believe it? Well, you know. You remember when we used to open this yes. up, and Miss Carol would have a lovely scene the in cows. here on this chroma key mm -hmm. blue. <laughs> the miracle oh, of God. television, ladies and gentlemen. She's back there, somewhere. <laughs> Miss Carol is right behind here. It's true. Yeah, she is. She <laughs> Do you hear that? Through the slants. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, oh. what are we doing? Oh, Co uh, this is cooking cheap. Oh yeah. I'm Laban Johnson. <laughs> I thought this and you're was somebody. I thought this was they that came uh, in off the street. That army show that they were doing. Well, bring in the witch yeah. and let's see what we're gonna do here. Let's see. here she comes flying. She did a fly better. around on you, and it sometimes just smacks you upside the head. Actually, why don't you read it? Oh, no. It's your <laughs> it's turn. never good news. Well. <laughs> <clears throat> when I have to read the letter, we have some visitors from Philadelphia. Oh, I'm glad. Are you from Philly, yeah. actually, or near Philly? Yeah, you can talk. It's that kind of show. Oh. <sighs> Dear Laban and Lee, it's true, they're all the way down mm -hmm. here. Of well, course, one wonderful. of them's here for something else. But oh, well, anyway. you know. We're having a fight around here and hope you can settle it. The question is, what is a pound cake? I think it has to do with the fact that the cake is so rich that you'll put on pounds if you eat it. Muffy says any cake that weighs a pound is a pound cake. Who's right? Please let us know as soon as you can before we start pounding each other. Willie Frank Tort, Sugar, Tennessee. Well, have you got the answer to that, Mr. Yes. Johnson? Yes. Uh, a pound cake is neither of those two things. Stupid it was butter. originally made with a pound of butter, a pound of flour, uh, and a pound of sugar. Is that so? And yes, that's right. Mr. Johnson has come through with and a, that's a where lesson it, for all of and you. And a pound of eggs. Hmm. So uh, that's where the pound cake came from. And that recipe is an old one. It is a great one, and it's death for people like me. Oh, death. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I'm doing a traditional pound cake, and there is, you can't get this out of a box, and there's a reason, yeah. because they have never figured out how to get six eggs and uh, three sticks of butter in one of those packages, I don't believe, and that's what this takes. This is a killer. Sent in by Christina Farai of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Good neck of the woods up there. Well, Betty Klecknicks. Oh, come on, you made that. I did not. Klecknicks. Klecknicks. <laughs> of Christiansburg, Virginia. Who has a terrible cold. Right, she got a bad cold today. <laughs> and it's wheezing real bad, so we're doing the cake for her. Uh, has sent in a recipe for a sour cream pound cake, and I told Doris. One of the few times you can tell Doris anything. <laughs> she usually is telling us. But I told Doris, I said, why don't you do the recipe that that Betty sent in, or Carolyn, rather. Carolyn sent in. See this. And I'll try to do the same recipe using uh, things, you know, so a diabetic or somebody with heart problems like I have could possibly eat a small slice of. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the healthier version of the recipe and Doris is doing the uh, hokey pokey. The, the complete one. She's doing the hokey so, pokey. I want you to see this. I have a real dilemma on my hands today. I have a recipe that requires six eggs and I noticed when I got in here today <laughs> that you know how I drive. Uh -huh. You do know how yes, I drive. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. And I took should my Jeep, be on the NASCAR I, circuit. <laughs> took my Jeep around that corner down there, and some student was coming out of the college, and I, we just darn near hit each other. And I think that I'm going to have a, a dickens of a time saving that egg, but I think I have an idea for saving it. So well, we'll good. Work on it. Right, First well, thing I have to do is get out the pan and uh, do a little thing with uh, with the bunt pan. And I've done the same thing. We determined that we both had the same bunt pan and I think it came free. It was with, free. With, with some something. kind of mix one time. If you paid, I think the deal was if you paid over 58 cents for this cake mix, uh, you, got, you got this, but anyway, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, I've got two sticks of margarine and uh, you have to use margarine. You can't use uh, the light spread because that doesn't bake well. That's made with gelatin or other noxious things, and it's just, so just use regular margin. Is there any secret to getting that center part done in there? How do you get that center part done? With the flour? Yeah. Well, just I guess do it you like just have you're to doing. spread some on it or something. I don't know. I've got a can. You know, you can get the spray cans of stuff that's got the flour in it. 
Much too expensive for this show. Well, you're right. There you go. That's what it looks like when it's all done. Isn't that pretty exciting? <laughs> okay. How's it going, Johnson? Well, I you haven't messed it up yet, have not you? Not yet, but I've oh, been okay. thinking about it. Uh, it's too early. Now, this recipe calls for two and three quarter cups of sugar, which is six tablespoons of, or five tablespoons of liquid uh, sweetener, which is what I'm going to use today because uh, the the aspartame that you can get, uh, you can bake things that don't take high heat and don't go a long time. But I'm just going to use this. So I'm what just, are you talking about? Instead of the sugar, I'm oh, using oh, artificial oh, sweetener. Okay. Throwing these big words around, yep. aspartame and all that stuff. Yeah, well, and of course, this one has the uh, note on it here. Uh, let's see. Oh, Use him. of this product may be hazardous to your health. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing it down. Uh huh. Well, I'm I thought sure it'd be the least it. I could do. Well, I have to start my cake by, you, you have to have all the goopy stuff in one bowl and the dry stuff in the other to start out with and take three cups of flour and a tablespoon of baking powder. Is it a tablespoon of baking powder? That's close enough. So that's what I'm gonna do right now and then I'm just gonna diddle it around here with a whisk and make sure it gets mixed thoroughly because I'm not sifting it. I'm not in a sifting mood today. I haven't been in a sifting mood for a long oh, time. Man. I've kind of gotten out of well, the sifting mood. You really don't have, have to do it anymore. That's right. Although, that's probably the secret to getting a real fine cake, if the truth be known about it. So anyway, I put that in there, and I've got some baking powder. And I always use fresh baking powder. Summer of 96. Yeah. So anyway, use fresh baking powder. Very good. And I'm just going to mix that up. That's your dry ingredients. And then we'll get to the other stuff in a couple of minutes. Johnson, you, how come you get all the fancy equipment? Well, I guess because I'm older and I'm handicapped. Older. <laughs> okay. And I'm measuring out three cups of, of flour. And because I didn't want to drag all the stuff, I'm using self-rising that we had left from some show we did about a year ago. And uh, it's not as messy. What's Doris making today? What are you making today? She's making the original recipe. Same thing he is. Yeah. <laughs> Doris came in with like six cakes today. Well, in a couple of well, minutes, as soon as, what are you looking for, John? I'm just looking to see what was up in there. <laughs> He's just wandering around <laughs> on the set. Sometimes it's real sad, you know, sometimes he just forgets he's doing a show. It's sort of mm -hmm. wander. Last week we had to get down the hall and get him in the middle of the program. Well, I'm going to start doing all of the, uh, the other ingredients, which, uh, oh, the first thing you got to do also, what did I do with it? Here it is. Is take one of these little things of nuts of your choice. I have black walnuts in this case. Ooh. And uh, went all out. <laughs> <laughs> Seal. Oh boy. For our protection. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh dear. And the first thing you do is sprinkle those directly down inside the pan on the bottom so as when you take this out, it's on the top. Right. Which is very clever and very wonderful, but I will tell you something. If you do not thoroughly, uh, if you do not thoroughly flour this thing, you'll never get this out of here. I had to, I thought I had a disaster on my hands. I had to poke around with a knife and it took the longest time to get it out. These walnuts on the bottom have a tendency to sort of seal it against the pan. So you make sure you do a good job with your flour and everything like that. I think I chipped a tooth. But anyway, so now the next thing we got to do is put together all of our, our other ingredients, which is two and a quarter cups of sugar. You can say something. All right, well, while you're done. doing that, I I've have got the, the equivalent oh, of six eggs with uh, egg substitute and uh, shake them up real well and just add them right into your margarine and your sweetener. Two and a quarter cups of sugar, Johnson. <laughs> well, this Woo. one called almost for as much. I'm telling you, we're not skimping on this one at all. And have you noticed my color coordination today? The shirt, oh, the give bowl, it up. The, the cobalt. I love cobalt, can you tell? Three entire sticks 
of butter, and this is real butter, and, and I nuked it because it was still hard. It had been sitting in my car all day. You know, normally everything well, melts in my car. But, day. yeah, it's almost as cold as a refrigerator mm -hmm. today out there. So I had to nuke it a little bit, and that's why it's looking like it is. Three well, sticks of that. Go ahead. Now, I've got to add a half a teaspoon of lemon extract, and there it is. My grandma would roll over in the grave if she knew I was putting all these different extracts in here, but it works. I thought it should just be vanilla, but... Uh, and here is a half a teaspoon of pure orange extract. Great piece of machinery, it won't cut off. <laughs> now, what I have to do now is take this sugar and butter and start creaming it. And that's what I'm going to do right now. And you'll notice I purposely got a real deep bowl because I am sick to death of wearing cooking cheap all over me on Monday evenings when I go out to visit my friends. Well, that's, I'm only down to one now, yes. my friend. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Just lovely. If I had a camera, I'd take a picture of it. That's enough. <laughs> it won't stop unless I unplug it, Doris. Now, what you got to do at this point, well, I'll just leave it on. What you got to do at this point is put a, one egg in at a time. What'd you say? Yes, I would like for you to hold it. And you have to thoroughly mi mix each egg. My trusty assistant, and the very lovely and semi-voluptuous Doris is here now to help me out. There's one. In fact, while you're here, maybe I can get this other egg loose. Do you think? Let me just, you gotta mix each egg in individual, it says. They're real persnickety about it. Let's see if we can save, well, hang on a second. I'm gonna save this, this egg. Lord, this egg has now gotten on all the other eggs. Okay, watch this. Oh, it, it's coming out. That's amazing, there we go. Okay. Thank you. Six eggs go in there. And some almond extract and some milk a couple of minutes. Johnson, go ahead. All right, well, I'm adding in about a third of the flour, and now I'm going to put in about a third of a cup of sour cream, or a cup of sour cream in thirds. Did I get any on you, Doris? And I'm using the low-fat sour cream. Not fat-free, but low-fat. And this will make up my batter here. This is just wild. Seems to me like, Johnson, that eating this cake, we could actually lose weight. I don't know what kind of experience this thing would have. I need my shield. Do you have one of those doors? It sure does take a while to work all six of these eggs in here, but look how fluffy this is. Fluffy. It's just fluffy. Uh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Woo-wee. National TV stuff there, folks. There you go. All right. And here's number five. Well, I'm doing very well getting the flour in. Okay. This is the first I've used this bowl. This is a Christmas bowl. It was given to me by a friend. By your one friend. Mm-hmm. I'm getting right good at this. <laughs> Look at this, Johnson. Don't you think that's amazing? Look, Ma, no hands. You know, I just gave away my old mixer that I've had for years uh, because it wouldn't cut off. Oh, was that so? Continuously. Now, into this also must go uh, some three quarters of a cup of milk at this point. Am I right on that? Yes, thank you, Doris. Doris says, mm hmm. Three quarters of a cup of milk and almond extract. Two tablespoons of almond extract. That baby's gonna walk out of there and go right under the camera in a couple of minutes. He just watch that thing take off. What did I do with my? Here we go. One. Seems like an awful lot to me, but two. Oh, good. I get to take three drops home and use them some other time. I think not. Okay. All right, now you got to mix all that in. The secret to this cake is taking your time. You can't rush it. 
And I will tell you, I, you just can't <laughs> hurry cake or love. I tell you, I did this thing Saturday morning and I was so impressed, I just couldn't believe it. It was so beautiful. Well, that is. Whew, time's fun when you're having flies. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the next thing you got to do is work in all of the dry ingredients in there which you're pre-mixed, and this you're gonna take a little more time with, and this is gonna really stiffen up pretty good, but not so much that you can't get it into the, unless of course you leave out half the ingredients like Mr. Johnson's been known to do when oh. he made that applesauce cake and forgot to put the applesauce in it. I don't think we'll ever hear the end of that. Uh huh. And we probably don't deserve to. This is why you gotta start with a big bowl. There's a lot to this cake. Well, I'll have to admit this thing is doing a pretty good job of it. My big old Hamilton Beach at home was working real hard and had done work this way halfway across the kitchen and had gone after several of the cats before I was oh. finished. All right, it all goes in there and that's everything now. So now we just gotta do a good job of working it through there. Did I forget anything? I think not. Well. We we need to. I need to come through here and get some of this off the edges. We need to what? Never mind. Do the recipes? No, yeah, we need to do those, and we need to get uh, Doris to come in and oh. show us Don't. how these things are supposed no, to look never when mind. they're finished. Well, let me give you mine: the traditional pound cake, three cups of flour, two and three quarters ounces package of nuts, two and a quarter cups of sugar. Tablespoon of baking powder. Uh, lost my place. One and a half cups of butter. That's three sticks for those of you who don't learn easily. Three quarters of a cup of milk, six eggs, and two tablespoons of almond extract. And then you bring Doris. Oh, you want to do yours? Yeah, Doris, why don't you tell them what's in that sour cream pound cake? <coughs> well, the sour cream this pound Doris, cake please. has two and three fourths cup of sugar, six eggs, one cup butter or margarine, three cups all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon salt, fourth a teaspoon baking soda, one cup sour cream, and a half a teaspoon vanilla, orange, and lemon extract. That is And then you have cake. variations that you can add. That makes the regular plain pound cake. Then uh, you can add a fourth a cup of cocoa to one cup of batter and um, pour into the pan and bake it and, and, you know, and marbleize it. And then uh, you can add a cup of mini chocolate chips to it. So uh, is that several or many? No, just just the little mini ones. Oh, that's so <laughs> but, cute. But it made a. And, and it now, made, what kind made of a, little candy is this that you? Well, I did that just to, they're like little Reese things, oh, and I just did so it to fancy. try to make it look a little dressier. Uh, mm, but for uh, us. but it makes a, a nice big cake and that then and then I um, but I found it's at 45 to 40 to 45 minutes it took me over an hour to bake this cake yeah, I think the time and is wrong now with my fake cake I think the uh, I, I let it mm. go an hour yeah. and it's maybe a little bit overdone with the sugar not in it uh, it just changes it and it, it browns but by the time it browns it's already done so I would say the time that uh, we had on the recipe 45 minutes is okay for the one that I, uh, I'm doing with the fake eggs and everything. But the uh, Doris, I think you're right in doing it. It, it takes a, a good hour to, to bake. Do you not have to flour yours? No. Hmm. I was hoping I would catch it. <laughs> no, it's just greased. It. You know, sometimes he forgets something at this point. Well, Doris, yeah, this is beautiful. They... This is lovely. <clears throat> and I will be expecting it at my house in an hour. Thank you. And Come back again. Well, I have finished this up, and it sure is pretty. And now I, I too, have to put mine into the, to the thing. So let me get that off of there without trying to get it all over myself. Did you ever give your recipe? Mm-hmm. Oh. Doris gave it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forget that you have these assistants sometimes. Uh-huh. So anyway. Same thing here. You got to take it now and put it into, but this one calls for it to be floured and uh, uh, sprayed and all that stuff and put it in there. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty batter? It's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But these bunt pans are sure a lot of pain to deal with. But it, it makes a real nice batter. 
And with all those eggs in there, and it smells wonderful too with that almond extract in it. I'm gonna do just as much as I can here and then I'm gonna quit. Now, I have to do there you go. what Daddy taught me to do. He was a wonderful baker of cakes. And that's drop it enough to get all the air bubbles up to the top. Besides, this is fun to make I hope you didn't have anybody living under you when you were growing up. Oh, I, I didn't. We always lived on the ground floor where we could get out while well, the game was Thank heavens good. for that. I don't think you and your mama making cakes, but I've been around very long uh -huh. carrying on like that. 350 degrees for, oh, about an hour. Mine is same thing, uh, 350 for, uh, de depending on how you're doing. If you go by the recipe, about an hour. But I do need a startling close-up. Who's gonna get me a close-up on this cake? Yeah, I would look at this, Johnson. This cake is so deadly, it comes with a warning. Oh, friend, what, right what, on the side. What does it say? It says, this cake contains enough butter and eggs to cause your main artery to slam shut immediately upon completing a single piece. Ah. It's written right there, right there. It's gorgeous. Running an ad agency is so much fun. Uh -huh. <laughs> so anyway. Well, I think well, I look will... at it. Isn't it pretty? Isn't that lovely? This has got oh, the little walnuts gorgeous. on top and everything. Gorgeous. So anyway, let me put this one in for the crew because, you know, they're going to be hungry later on. Mm -hmm. Carol, remember that's one hour from now, darling. Okay. <laughs> and here we go. They're going to take this over here. Well, have you ever seen so many cakes? In your life, not in one place, not it's since, unnatural. Not since the cakewalk down at the PTA a couple of years ago. Oh, for heaven's sake. Old enough to know what a cakewalk is. Oh. I'm going to get you one here. I'm going to have a piece of doors. Light and fluffy, this ain't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> this thing is light so and fluffy, don't you? Heavy. But isn't it pretty, though? Mm -hmm. It is. It's just picture loveliness. It's just yours or That's doors? mine. Oh, yeah. now it's yours. Belongs to everyone. Looks a little dry to me. Well, who knows? Which well, one we gonna try first? Well, well let's there's so try many one, of them. Let's I'm not going to be able to have dinner. Let's try Doris's. I'll lose my appetite. Which one's Doris's? Is this one? No, that's mine. Which one's Doris's? Is this one? Mm -hmm. One of these. One of these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. nice. Very nice. Yours is awfully good. Is it really? Well, it ought to be, all the stuff that's in it. Good heavens. But it isn't light, I'll tell you that. No. It is truly a pound cake. It may be a pound and a half, I'm not sure. And what is, is this one yours? That's mine, with the fake eggs. Well, and look at it. It's got an sweetener. awful lot of fluff to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It smells pretty good. Well, that doesn't, that tastes interesting. I toast. A little chemically. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have it to It does have a slight it. aftertaste, I'm sorry. Uh, this one, I mismeasured the artificial sweetener and didn't put in enough. <laughs> no, oh, I, thought I didn't you were put killing in me. enough. Ah. So. Um, it does have a str little strange aftertaste, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's not mm -hmm. awful. It's not. If you didn't tell anybody what they were tasting, they probably would take all evening to figure right. it out. Well, I had a. They'd be halfway on their way to the cancer ward. I had a ward. toasted slice of it last night <laughs> with a little uh, fat free margarine on it and a scoop of vanilla, fat free, no sugar added ice cream. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, the chemical <laughs> stuff that we do to each other in the name of good health. Well, I love these nuts on the top. These are yeah. mighty good. They've toasted them. Well, this in cake there. is this one. Mm -hmm. Doris, mm -hmm. you, your version of this cake is terrific. Mm. And I sure do wish I'd combed my hair before this show. Why mm -hmm. didn't somebody tell me? Here I am. Well, sure. you what know. can you do? No? Way I'm, it not a thing. Another minute. I'm out of stuff to talk about. I was out of stuff an hour ago. Doris has got so much more patience than I do to do the marbleized version of it. Well, I'll tell you what Doris has that I don't have. She has so much more time than I do. Well, that enters into that it, That is too. true. She really does. You know, I'm but a busy man. But you know man. when you're retired like we are? Oh, for heaven's sake. You know, sometimes things that you just take for granted take a lot of time, <clears> like <throat> going to the post office. That's a big deal in my life now. <laughs> It just takes up a whole lot of time. So, I mean, you just 
<sighs> have to, you know, we close? Oh, hey, yeah, that's it. We're out of here. Thanks oh, an awful good. lot. We hope you enjoyed your desserts Come back. today. The cakes are really good. They're great. They really. Conversation stinks. The cakes are wonderful. Uh, it's been a wonderful town. day. Doris, get over here and help me.